your finger. Me too, I give you the finger. The date is uh, 6.26, uh, May 7th, Tuesday, 2020. I'm happy because uh, I thought I had three, three prophetic dreams of discovery all related to April and beginning of May of this year, right now. And yesterday, uh, in my news, Google 2 popped up. One which was the nearest, closest uh, black hole. I spoke about it. I won't speak it again. I give the dream. It was a double star. I say, I heard a voice saying, uh, she, show, she showed great patience uh, against gigantic adverse force with gigantic they know anybody in astronomy will say it's a black hole and i say it's on our system i felt like it was be be between on the other side of uh i said saturn or uh jupiter i said neptune but i, I thought it was jupiter afterwards i corrected uh, i said that in the dream i heard where it was and what it was but i forgot it after like 30 seconds, which was a rare thing because it was almost took, taken out from my soul. Uh, which at that point I thought I, I regretted because I, I was eating a lot and I regretted to not have a pen and paper. But I think it was maybe God's thing and I withhold it for, for two days plus I think another... Two days I looked yesterday at least so but published on the 26th of April because 23rd of April came the population of asteroid first population and that was clearly that I said it was in the center on the edge on the right edge because of the green uh, theater and I was in Montreal with center I said there was two pillars and the center theater in Montreal uh, has pillars and, and is a theater and you know, I say the trajectory before, but you know, not knowing nothing about stars at that time, I know a little bit better now. But I felt really sick when I published this 5th April, a special agent find hidden bodies. And uh, for me, it was a joke. I thought it was coronavirus bodies and it was just a way to say, uh, not to laugh about it. Because I published to, to say, you know, free some people in jail, they might die of it. But uh, as prophecy, it's always repeating itself. And this is what I see more closely as now my eyes are beginning to, to drop their scales, you know, I have an effect in my eyes. And it's like, what is it on a smaller proportion? And I say it now, is also on a molecular or historical uh, happening also in a bigger proportion, you know? And uh, let's say there's a lot of has nothing to do i was saying if there's a lot of fights than world war three has nothing to do with that i guess but you know of course of course there's a sign you know if there's a lot of uh bad mounting and suddenly boom compared to if people are behaving but we don't want a state policy that people are behaving that's instead of i mean behaving like uh Let's go, let's go! Get the fuck out of here! You see me he slows down, what the fuck? Fucking piece of shit, laugh, eh? You see, I heard him laughing. I'm connected. What a piece of shit, man. Who the fuck does this kind of job, man? Sickness. Fuck, man. It's supposed to vacuum, but it's, it's lifting every shit around, man, in your fucking eyes. And then you got shit coming in your face. Fucking wow. You see that's it's like it's like dropping a fucking fruit on the floor over and over. All the fucking fruits gonna I gotta wash my my eyes man. Well, I'm happy because uh, the third one was another dream that I had about Galileo Galileo and uh, I thought it's when I was sending somebody that came to seek uh That dream was uh, was uh, the end of April, and it was the third one, okay? The first one I was hiding that I just spoke, and just like that double star, and I said there was this person or something that was counter 
but I couldn't see what. Uh, around my 11 o'clock, and I see the darkness between. And that was the black hole, and I said that was like a Counter-Strike game, which I never played, but since there's no more sport betting, which I started to do just for the first time a few months before, and God told me, congratulations. <laughs> You won a pair of deaf brown speakers, meaning, you know, sharing prophetic uh, words and prophecies. And when I did about, man, I got to go in the church because when I started, I did a, uh, about Trump, politics. And God, uh, I slept in a ditch in Vancouver. Well, a ravine, they used to call it mission something. And... It was fancy. I went there one time and my guardian angel said, congratulations, you're a bitch. No, not congratulations, he said, you're a bitch. You know, and I said, okay, bitch. No, I understand. Back then I was trying uh, not to make a living, but I was not taking government money, so I didn't took that as an insult. Uh, I was honest. I came back here, they still sent that government check eight months later. God knows who cashed it. So what happened after that? Prophetic, when I went to work and I cursed the guy that made me wait, didn't pay me, but I knew him. Return home, dust, 12, midnight. Wait for the big boss, you don't know him, but he's come. After working 18 hours a day or 16 on a weekend, two days, I don't know, I pushed it after not working for months. I don't want to work for 200 anymore in that painting, especially at that time. So, uh, pay later, but then when I cursed, uh, I've seen that dream, prophetic. I already spoke about it. And now it looks like the third yes, one, the third one started, you know, and there was church a little bit, depending how I feel, uh, politics a little bit, uh, if one dream was coming about something, I was looking and maybe there would be only two, three. And now about, but a lot came about the, started to come in about the stars, whatever. It's like a tribulation of the church. Then I see that the, the devil had the green mist, whatever is going to be World War Three. but obviously it's a gas. It can be a comet, which will bring gases. I'm not sure about this. I haven't prayed but I published last year. And then this Camelio Partis, which is disgusting, Leopard, uh, when there was one sexual act in part of me in a year or more. The, the face of the guy between the legs of a dead woman on the bed, his knees there, and that's like the constellation. And then I see this guy with kind of blood here. And everything was in black and white except the blood. So I thought God was showing me a snuff movie, which uh, the beginning of last year when I had temptation one second after starting to share of uh, watching came to my mind one or two days some pornography like this guy who doesn't want me to talk about it and does it, the announcer, because the devils won't want you to talk about it. So. Be set free of that, man. That's really bad. So, uh, makes you dirty all the time. So, when I thought about this, God gave me a, to prevent a snuff moving that. And, man, I knew only maybe, not only, but one from 2006 pornographic thing that I bought when I arrived in Toronto from France. And I turned the page, and in the middle, that was this name, a new girl. And it was about her, and she goes with DJ Striker, I researched, which was an Ellen DeGeneres DJ uh, for the show. And then she played in a movie that some uh, extra thing happens, and she transforms into uh, another woman, Evil. And I said, hey, that's the woman or the other one. And I explained how I was. So whatever I'm studying, this gift, uh, you know, I get revelations. and. And when I started to think about the stars, there was that was more put to me with the coronavirus. It seems like tribulation, viruses, uh, with the stars, it's all connected. You see the dust here, dust there, you can't breathe. 
it's really spacious. It's really uh, sp spatial. Uh, back in the days, they knew apparently when there was a big disease. Well, comets always was, but there was also at that time, you know, a shower of meteorites. See in the old books, they see with dooms, with those comets, there were signs of dooms and apocalyptic, you know, in the Revelation book, or other people call it Revelation of John. Uh, God doesn't like it when I call it apocalypse, I don't know why. I don't know what this word really means. But the book of Revelation, the prophecy of the end of the world in the Bible, says the wormwood, the stars falling, the dragon, dragon constellation. There's also a symbolic of it on earth, which is China. It might be after the communists come here, or the atheistic communists, I should say, which even much worse. There's no limit that somebody will think about God, even if he's lying to himself and running from his soul in a, a party called communists, like in Russia, but they were Christians, so it could turn over by some people feeling the grace of God, but this atheistic China, they come here, they take your right of beliefs. And imagine if there's one belief that really sells souls. Whatever you choose or, or follow or not, you gotta let the right for others ones. But if that right is gone to be Christian or Jewish or whatever you think, then man, you're nothing less than not only a robot, but the salvation of your soul is at risk and if there is imagine how god will feel about it and that jesus said i'm coming at the end not to take life from people but at least nobody else can be saved so the freedom will be gone and we can think it's not only a communist that communist has to be everywhere and that's from 5g's cameras everywhere like china has push might be 6g i don't know i haven't prayed for it Possibly. All I know about it in the future is uh, Archie Mountbatten, that God showed me that he will push, give people stuff, but eventually on his third stage for the radio, which I didn't understand last year when I was in Vancouver, by the way, family split uh, 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 from the Royals and came and dropped in Vancouver, or and now is there in LA. So God knowing that, give me that dream. And uh, when he was just born, and uh, I put it, Prophetic Life of Archie Mumbadin on YouTube, about I think at this stage, uh, maybe if I'm not wrong, about 200 views uh, only, but uh, enough, I guess, you know. <laughs> if it reached 10 big people, that's enough. And, uh, we don't want to yes, shake the tree too much. God is in charge, and uh, but He will push that, and it makes me think later on, you know. But I don't want to push too much, and uh, I gotta get out actually right here. Let me see my old uh, mail post. Well, this is this is what's happening, man. Even if somebody is blind and push too much for himself. There's one guy that you have to push, and that man is Jesus Christ. Because that's the truth. That's the guy who got the good. That's the guy who bless you even that you have maybe 5% of good in you. Well, it comes from him, whatever you know or not. You might do bad, and you still live in. It comes from him. Uh, you know, there might be people setting traps in front of you in this. With all this, you walk, strip club there, there, there. So... Even when you're gonna do something, God is gonna be. Maybe, if you know no better, that's an all so a variant that comes into play. Not a variant, but an influential. You see what I mean? Eh, there's a lot. Let's say if you would put that the mathematical to see if it's a minus or plus, if you pass to heaven or not. Eh, there's a lot of in consideration. There's consideration how much time you said no with your conscience that a lot of people know about this they call it sin but there's a lot when you don't know or, or know not better there's a lot that comes into mind you know uh, where you're setting for that sin 
or were you falling? Were you trying also uh, compared to how many times you fell to not go in that path or fail? Were you preaching to not do that? That's a big bonus, and huh? we can guess like that's not only not doing it but showing the way, and that's what people know. Let's say if you have fall some sins and now you're doing this, whoo, it's a good, let's, let's say if it's a financial, it's a good sh up, you know. So there's a lot of other variants. How about your health? God told me some handicap, all her sins are forgiven every day. I'm not saying all of them, but that person, how, how it was born, you know, uh, maybe I think she was born with a uh, Maybe 15% of uh, a little head, like cephalus, I, I don't know the term. Uh, and she was a bit short and, you know, there was maybe half down syndrome to it. And, and but she was talking a bit alone and I saw, you know, some, not anger, but some, yeah, a little bit. And I passed and I, at that time I was forgiven a lot of sins through the Holy Spirit and, uh, when I, I turned and I wanted to do I heard her sins are forgiven every day. And I told her, so, okay, I'm going to stop. I got to check. And I'm going to think about the other videos I'm going to put in, in a bigger prophetic, uh, Jesus prophetic series, like a collage of thoughts and things that come to my mind with dreams, with teaching. And it seems like this format is, uh, is uh, it's a better fit for me. God bless you, Father, Son, Father, Son, Holy Spirit, in us. There's one last thing, and I'm going to take a break the whole day and publish two movies, three movies the last days. Uh, about a week or two or three weeks, I wanted to do um, all those, those streams I put it. I'm starting to clean the channel, which is more like in the... Yeah, a tea and a medium, uh, no, a large tea with uh, two cream, no sugar, and a uh, steep tea, and uh, and then the uh, steep. Sorry about that, guys, man. I don't trying to steal uh, your time here, precious time. But I heard that it's up. It's that's for them. That's for you to find the, the prophecies in the past that I put. Me, I'm just gonna clean because I heard don't rewrite, don't wipe. So even things that seems that I am wrong, sometimes it's gonna work for something. <laughs> oh, I don't know. But uh, sometimes it's just like I said, put it up front. And uh, you know, if I want it always to be right, of course, two days break and I will. But, uh, but it's important to talk about these things, man. How much is it? Large two dollar. Okay, there's two ten here. Okay, you. You're and this is how you do it when you preach God. If you have a good soul, you can do this. If you have a bad line, <laughs> ain't gonna do good for you to spit in your hands. <laughs>